everybody. Uh, Ukraine never misses a chance to miss a chance. This is uh, one of the favorite sayings. Some countries challenge that it concerns not only Ukraine, but us as Ukrainians, at least in the part of your perspective, we can say that this is the case. Uh, one of Ukrainian politicians, uh, which is extremely popular today, or you can see her everywhere, starts her ad with the word, I have a dream. This is not Martin Luther King, this is a different personality. Uh, we don't have a dream. For us, it's not a dream. We have deep knowledge, and uh, we have not only knowledge, but practical capacities to not to miss next chance. And I'm absolutely positive when the next window of opportunities is there for Ukraine to join that much higher standards club of European nations. We cannot hold on political will of, of, of Ukrainian government, on their capacities, on their mood or unanimity. We should be technically prepared for this. And therefore, the timing of this project is extremely important. Um, I can start from uh, answering the question why, when, why, why I am here. Uh, again, in two capacities, as a citizen expert and as the chairman of uh, St. UA uh, uh, both. You know that I was Deputy Prime Minister for European Integration in this country, and before that I was working in government, uh, running the office of Prime Minister, uh, being in the Central Bank, uh, being the Chief of Staff to President. I know how the Ukrainian system functions. Uh, or are there how it dysfunctions, and how decisions are not taken, and how decisions are not implemented. And I know that uh, everyone complains about political will. I also know that there is a good bunch of honest people genuinely believing and willing to implement those good intentions, but they don't know how. And uh, what happens in Ukraine, we never desovietized governmental machinery. So it's still a Soviet type of hierarchy uh, with uh, top management not connected institutionally to actually driving parts of the engine. And that's why it's so important that uh, we, all of us present here, can make that engine actually running. So by that time when we have a driver who has a political will, general will to drive, engine can work and can take the country forward. Uh, I also represent here a center UA, which is, means Ukraine, but it's also translated United Actions. This is the center which actually corresponds to its name. We have been created to emphasize or to increase public influence by getting number of NGOs together by identifying, focusing on major challenges and overcoming them. So we have experience in running very successful national campaigns. We are one of the locomotives of such partnership as New Citizen, which unites 62 NGOs, prominent NGOs, and we have experience of launching very successful campaigns. We have also expertise on EU-related issues because Central UA was part of Secretariat which provided coordination for uh, advisory report to government on European issues, which unites 32 different NGOs. In short, if we are talking about uh, capacity to deliver, to rent, to, ed to, to uh, educate or to um, advocate campaigns, we are here. But what is much more important that we strongly believe in this idea and that the whole center and all our partners would be very logically fitted into this scheme. And timing, I emphasize again, is very appropriate because all expert community in Ukraine was expecting that this association agreement will not just evaporate, that it will be fixed, it will be deeply frozen. So by the time we have political uh, government here or politicians who are prepared to implement that, and there will be political readiness of EU to do so, it can be quickly defrozen with all vitamins in that uh, dish uh, still not to be destroyed. So, 
that association agreement is something on which we'll be entering our recommendations. Because that, this is the first document in Ukraine-EU relationship which has clear commitments of the Ukrainian government. And whoever is in Ukrainian politics today or tomorrow, only European-oriented politicians can win presidencies, can get uh, majority in parliament. No one can be successful with the slogan back to the USSR. So, we will be building our advice, we'll be advocating our, uh, uh, our project, which is directly linked to association agreement. Uh, which will be sooner or later implemented. It's not just a dream or a fantasy. It's very down-to-earth, very practical approach, which is durable, which is understood by society, which is understood by journalists, which is supported by middle-level management. So when time comes, we have top management ready. Uh, it will be a very timely and uh, efficient uh, project. So I wish all us good, and I personally have absolutely no doubt that that would be one of a few very successful, not just abstract general or uh, how they say, paper which is never used by, by people. This is something in which we strongly believe, uh, which we can do and which we will do. And I'm, I personally am very excited. I am a member of many boards uh, in, in my life, in my capacity, but being in the board, uh, doing something in which you strongly believe where you have practical knowledge and what, which you know is extremely important for your country. It's very close to most uh, ideal uh, dream in my case uh, to, find, to find my own knowledge applicable to something which can be turned into reality.